Hi Aries, welcome to your singles reading for March. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So let's see what's going on for the single life of Aries. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take it how it resonates for you. Not everything here may resonate. So we're going to see what's going on. So we're going to look at love and whatever uh, other information I see. I will tell you what I see. I'm going to get you um, a bunch of oracles here. And then we'll get into the tarot. So this could be somebody, you know, you're dealing with. It could be somebody you're dating, getting to know. It could be someone totally new coming into your life. Someone you're in separation with. So please only take it how it resonates for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading for all, for Aries at this time. Thank you, thank you. Everything you need to know is down below. You can check that out. There'll be an extended reading. So whatever information I get here, we'll look further into that. Uh, the signs that I see. And we'll get messages from Spirit. I have Mystic Moon's um, Signs from Spirit Love Oracle. So, links are below for the extended if you are interested in that. For Aries. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's get you one more oracle here. The Aries Singles. Aries Singles. Someone rising in Venus, male or female, general collective reading. All right. Aries. Aries. That one. All right, let's see what is going on for you. So we have air and we have cancer. So some could have these signs in their chart Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, or you could be dealing with somebody with this in their chart, or it is their sign, however, it resonates for you. But air energy here, you know, is a very um, clear cut communication. It's all about the mind and communication, ideas. Um, thoughts. Somebody could be thinking about a water sign. All right. Let's see. And we have patience. So this is the temperance card. This is the sign of Sagittarius. So I feel like someone's been thinking about a water sign. Could be you. Um, and has been uh, very patient here. Or somebody could be very, you know, cancer is water energy. You know, in cancer, that water energy is very loving. It's very um, all about intuition, compassion kind of energy. And we have coming apart. And we have 46, which is 10. And 10s are about full circle, completions, endings, and then 1 is a new beginning. So, Aries, I feel like maybe here, you know, maybe you dealt with a cancer in the past... Um, you know, maybe it fell apart. It's kind of what I see, see with this coming apart. You know, and that patience card is all about healing, finding our balance once again, uh, patience, peace, harmony, divine alchemy here. So let's see. Let's see. Aries. Aries. I feel like, I feel like something ended for you. Could have been with a, with a water sign or an air sign. Um, and, you know, you're trying to heal here after this coming apart. All right, so let's see. Aries, Aries. What's going on for Aries singles? So I have the tenant. Yeah, that's that burden of cycle, that overwhelming feeling. Uh, going down a new path, though. I mean, you're, you've laid down that burden. Ten of Cups. I feel like you're going down a new path in search of like a new Ten of Cups. But I feel like you've, you know, and we have 14 there, which is five. Five is all about change. You know, it's hard. It's a challenge. But it's time for change. And we have the star. Wow, Aquarius energy. So there's that deep, 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 deep healing. Faith, hope, and optimism. Wishes and dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. I feel like, I feel like, you know, you've probably ended a tough cycle here. You know, very patient through the whole situation. A lot of healing had to take place, balancing out your energy, 
you know, it was a tough cycle, you know, everything, you felt like everything was unraveling, coming apart, you felt scattered, you felt split in two, but I feel like, you know, what? you felt like it was time, you know, it was time to um, lay that heavy burden down, it was just time, so I feel like you're on a new path here to like a new Ten of Cups, being like divinely guided and led down like a new path. We have the Three of Pentacles, so this is rebuilding. Rebuilding a new foundation here, uh, your new foundation. Rebuilding, reworking. Some of you could have even, um, some of you could have even moved, decided just to get up and move after this ending, even started a new job, like a whole new life. Or maybe you're thinking about doing this. So we have the Two of Wands. So you could be thinking about going on this new journey here, setting out on a new path. It's kind of what I see. All right. Four. Aries. Aries. The shadow, yeah. Devil energy here. Capricorn. Definitely attached to this Ten of Wands. I feel like whatever this toxic energy was with this devil energy, it's like you're turning your back on it, leaving it in the past. Like, you know what? I'm just done with that energy. It was time. It all came apart. It unraveled. And even though I felt like I was split in two, I was all torn up. I knew it came. It was time. It was time for that to come to an end. So, you know, leaving that toxic energy. I mean, maybe not toxic, but maybe it was just, you know, not... It, it just wasn't fulfilling anymore. There wasn't anything else there for you. You know, it just grew um, dark. See how dark that card is? It just grew dark and like unloving and just burdensome. And it's like, nope, time. It's time to go down a new path here. Six of Cups. So some of you could be returning back home. Tra maybe some of you travel, you know, decided to get up and travel and maybe physically just move back to your roots, get to get back home, to get back where you came from. This could also be, you know, returning of a soulmate from the past. A water sign doesn't have to be, but, you know, this is fond memories of the past, nostalgia, uh, maybe children involved here. So you could have, you could be returning to something from the past or moving back home, or maybe something or someone is returning back to you. From the past, and also you could be getting ready here to meet a past life soulmate. So this new path that you're going on could potentially lead you to a past life soulmate. So however that resonates for you. Oh my goodness, let's see here. So we have the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's that air energy right here. Under the star. You know, sometimes, you know, I take that with the Page of Swords as kind of, you know, maybe scoping something out online or something like that, or learning new things or researching things. But I, I'm taking this more as you see how she's enlightened. So it's almost like you're listening to your intuition and your inner knowing and letting that guide you with the star energy for your future. And you're being very, very clear and concise here with that sword energy. And it could be, you know, communicating also. All right. What else here for Aries? Aries. Aries. The mother. So Empress here, Libra Taurus. So, you know, this is now knowing our value, our worth. Uh, it could be the birth of something new. Maybe some of you even, you know, decided to, like, move back home and start your own little business. Or maybe work for a small business or something like that. And just rebuilding yourself. You know, this, we do have, a you know, maybe someone is with child, doesn't have to be, or children could be involved, doesn't have to be, though. I mean, this empress can be the birth of something new, knowing our value, our worth kind of energy. Could have to do, you know, maybe someone moving back home to go uh, live with their mom or their dad or next to them, you know, going back to their, like, roots, I feel. All right. Okay. 
Ten of Pentacles energy. So this is, this is usually my marriage. Some of you could have been married, and maybe that's what you left behind. This new path could potentially lead you again to this either person from the past or maybe like re um, reuniting in not necessarily with an old love. Maybe it was someone you went to school with or someone you forgot about or an old friend and you kind of like meet up and it could turn romantic. It could be that also. And you may not even be looking for love and it could just happen. Or this is telling you that whatever new path you're setting on with the two of wands here, that this will lead you to the ultimate Ten of Pentacles, total wealth, abundance, prosperity. I'm not saying you're going to be rich, but, uh, you know, you'll be well off. You won't have to worry. could be a family business also for some. I just feel like I need a few more here for Aries. A few more here for Aries. Aries. Or Aries. The Nine of Cups. Yeah, going after your own happiness, joy, and self-fulfillment. I think, I feel like it's time for you um, here to, like, do what you want to do. <laughs> Go after your own happiness and joy and fulfillment. Filling, you know, like refilling your cups here. Uh, be careful of overindulging, because the Nine of Cups can sometimes be overindulging, so just be careful. Or it could have been someone you were dealing with, maybe was very overindulgent. All right. Get one more for Aries. Justice, wow. So this could be a divorce for some or legal, something in the legal field. Um, Libra energy here. Truth, clarity, balance, justice, getting justice, serving justice. So some, you know, could have went been through a divorce, especially with um, justice in the Ten of Wands, ending that cycle. But now, you know, new justice is coming in for you. Getting what you deserve by following your heart, following your intuition, your high knowing, letting the divine lead and guide you. What you feel like you should do, want to do, need to do. Follow that inner guidance. And this will lead you to, I think, down the right path. The two of wands, choosing that right path. Could lead you to ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. Yeah, we have the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck here. Sagittarius, or it could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. So this is, again, divinely guided energy. Things getting better, going in the right direction, things meant to be, things aligning and meant to be in your path, a path you're meant to go down. Yeah, after a painful, hurtful ending. Yeah, five of pentacles, feeling lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold, after this hurtful ending, and maybe you didn't even see it coming. You know, and again, coming apart made you feel totally, totally out of balance here. But Nine of Pentacles, becoming single, independent, secure, grounded in your own right. Feeling good, looking good, and taking care of yourself. Yep, that's what I feel. So you got the wheel on your side, um, Aries. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. So I'm going to go on the extended now. I'll pull you um, four new oracles for future energy. And, you know, if it was an air sign or a cancer that you left in the past, we'll see what new energy is coming into you. Um, I'm not really seeing any signs here. I know I said I would look into signs if you're dealing with anyone. I feel like you're, and you've are you ended something. You're going off on a new journey. Again, whether you're moving back home or you're just relocating or you're starting over, fresh and new, a whole new life for you. But I feel like, you know, listen to that inner guidance, follow that path that you feel like you, you need to go on, you should go on, you want to go on. I feel like that's divinely guided and led for you to follow that. So we're going to see where this leads and see if there's anything, maybe not looking for love, but we'll look into that anyway and see uh, if there's anything new coming in for you. Uh, the signs I do see here are um, Aquarius, Libra, Libra Taurus, Capricorn, so, and I do have Sagittarius here, so I may look into those signs. So if, you know, if this is someone on your mind or someone from the past or maybe someone that um, is in your energy that you're kind of interested in, if you have already set out on this journey and you're like, well, this person's come in my path now and I'm kind of interested in them, we'll look into that energy and also more future energy here for what's going on. And I do have Mystic Moons, um, 
signs from spirit here love oracle so we'll get some of these for you hourglass time is slipping so yeah don't waste any more time you are you're meant to go on a certain path now aries and the wheel is here on your side guiding you so trust in that okay aries if you go the extended everything is below i shall see you there if not best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and always always shine your light